Hey everyone, Michael Martin from Yahoo Esports here. We are at Capcom Cup Day 1 Esports Arena, and I am joined by Eita-san, Disco Vigilani. It's been a, an intense day so far. Talk to me about how you feel beating Tokido, who went 0-2 at Capcom Cup. Yeah, I'm very surprised. I mean, of course, as has been said many times today, there's a lot of really strong players here. And in the course of a match, anything can happen. But for both, Tok not only Tokido, but Infiltration, to both go 0-2, it's really, really been a surprising day. You've done a lot of traveling this year. Uh, you, you were, at, of course, in EVO Top 8, um, playing a, a, what I think is a really strong kin, but a really different kin from maybe some of the other players like Momochi. Uh, what do you feel is like the difference in your style and, and how you approach Street Fighter V with Ken versus some of these other players? Um, it's actually something I just noticed recently, like even today, that I tend to play a little bit risky. And, you know, I've been trying this year especially to tone down the risky play. But the way I put it is, if I think something will hit, I'm going to do it. Even if it's something a little bit strange, like stand medium punch and then dash into Shoryuken. Um, the risk return, you know, is kind of all over the place, but that's just the way I play. I'm kind of a rough player, I guess. So what was your most memorable moment or experience on the Capcom Pro Tour this year? For me, the, the one match that's really stuck in my memory was actually a little bit before Top 8, and that was when I first played um, Tokido. For me, that really left a strong impact because I was able to beat him, I was able to get into top eight, and I just had a really strong feeling. It's always lasted there, like kind of like, damn, I did it, sort of thing. You beat Takedo at EVO. How many other times have you played him this year? Today would be the fourth time. Three one in, Eita, in my favor. Oh, so Eita might be Tokido's demon. Lucky <laughs> boy. Lucky boy. <laughs> Okay, uh, we spoke with MOV earlier actually, and one of the things that I wanted to talk about is we see a lot of players who get together, whether they live, you know, they train together, they live in houses together, um, playing Street Fighter V obviously, and, and, and other fighting games, but I really wanted to talk to you about what's it like being in like one house, playing with these great players, and what does it mean for like for you, for your game, how strong of a player are you with these other guys in that same house? Um, of course, there's a lot of strong players, you know, they're like myself, MOV, Kindevu, etc. Um, one of the nice things is the other variety of players that come in there. One that a lot of Americans and other players might not know of is a real player named Ponza Man. Uh, Ponza Man, when we found out that I would be playing Tokido first round, came over and we grinded the, uh, the Ryu matchup for a long, long time, and I think he had me, you know, helped me uh, give the results that I had today. Okay, so I asked MOV and I'm going to ask you, who's the best in the house? MOV. <laughs> okay, that's what he said. <laughs> uh, sponsorship. Um, I know you were really looking for a team or sponsorship uh, for pro gaming, and I believe you went on Daigo Stream recently to kind of promote yourself. Talk to me a little bit about that. How did that work? And uh, I, I think you landed a sponsor, so tell me, who, who are you with and, and how did that whole process work? More than anything, I want a sponsor who wants me to be on their team. Of course, tournament results are important, but I want someone to look at me and say, I want that guy on my team. I want to have a meaningful sponsorship more than anything else. The sponsors that I have right now are Game With and Omoroki. Um, but they're only sponsoring me for Capcom Cup right now. We don't know what's going to happen after this, but I would really love to have them uh, sponsoring me afterwards. What's an ATA's future in 2017? The main thing that I need to work on is really getting money, basically. Because going, you know, going abroad to tournaments all the time is not easy. Getting a sponsorship will be great, and of course, I do really need to work on winning, but even harder than that will be making my own money and getting a sponsorship. Uh, there really won't be any start without that, so please, in the future, if there's any sponsors watching, let me know. Eita-san, good luck with the rest of the tournament. Arigato gozaimasu. I'm Michael Martin, and this is Yahoo Esports.